Birmingham Snow Hill Station stands as a testament to the evolving journey of Britain's railway history, from its grandeur to its decline and eventual rebirth. Its story is one filled with both deep nostalgia and hopeful resurgence. The station first opened in 1852 under the simple title of Birmingham Station. It was a humble, temporary wooden structure, but that didn't last long. By 1858, the station was renamed Birmingham Snow Hill and began to grow in prominence. It quickly became a symbol of the city's railway prestige, largely due to its association with the Great Western Railway, GWR, a company that prided itself on opulence and high standards. Snow Hill, with its white glazed tiles, mosaic floors and an air of elegance, was soon the place to be. This station wasn't just functional, it was grand. In the early 20th century, Snow Hill underwent a massive reconstruction. From 1906 to 1912, the station was rebuilt on a truly impressive scale. This new version boasted an enormous glass and steel roof, lavish waiting rooms, and an arched booking hall, giving it the look and feel of a palace. Passengers walking through Snow Hill would have been greeted with the sights and sounds of luxury. The station's platforms were long enough to hold two trains at once, and scissors crossings allowed for an elegant dance of trains pulling in and out, creating an efficient and bustling atmosphere. But Snow Hill wasn't just about appearances. It was a key player in Birmingham's railway network. Trains from Snow Hill connected Birmingham to destinations as far-reaching as London, Paddington, Cardiff and Birkenhead. The station was a thriving hub of activity and for many years it operated at the heart of the city's transportation system. People commuted to work, travelled for leisure and moved goods through this station. It was a focal point for the lives of the people of Birmingham who would have had fond memories of waiting on those platforms, watching the trains roll in. However, by the 1960s, the station's future was under threat. The rise of modern electrification at New Street Station drew traffic away from Snow Hill and the station soon became neglected. It was clear that British Rail was shifting its focus. Maintenance costs for Snow Hill skyrocketed and the once proud station began to crumble, its grandeur fading into the shadows. For years it was almost forgotten as fewer trains stopped there and the station slowly fell into disrepair. The 1960s and early 70s saw the station become a ghost of its former self. The final blow came in 1972, when the station officially closed its doors. The beautiful glass and steel roof was taken down, the platforms torn up, and the station left as little more than a memory. It was a heart-wrenching moment for many of Birmingham's residents. The station that had once served them so well was now just an empty shell, its tracks replaced by a car park. It was as though a piece of the city had died. The echoes of passengers and trains once bustling through Snow Hill's vast halls faded into silence. Yet, from the ashes of the past, a new hope arose. By the mid-1980s, there were talks of bringing Snow Hill back to life. After 15 years of abandonment, Snow Hill was rebuilt and reopened in 1987. This new station was smaller, tucked beneath an office complex, and didn't quite capture the full charm of its predecessor. But it was still Snow Hill, a piece of Birmingham's history resurrected for a new era. Once again, trains began to roll in, passengers passed through, and the station was back in business. Today, Snow Hill is a vital part of Birmingham's railway system, connecting commuters and travellers to destinations far and wide. While it may not have the opulence of its former glory, it carries the memory of a time when it was the pride of the city. The station now stands as a blend of old and new, a tribute to the past and a symbol of the city's bright future. For those who remember the original station, there's a bittersweet feeling of loss but also a sense of renewal. Snow Hill has come full circle, from its fall into oblivion to its rebirth as a station that once again serves the people of Birmingham. The story of Snow Hill reminds us that even when something precious is lost, 
it can find a way to rise again, different yet carrying the echoes of its past.